Parent Financial Forum. To give a little history of how Ohio has funded schools, back in March 1997, the Supreme Court ruled in a 4-3 decision in the Duroff versus the state of Ohio, that the way Ohio funds schools is unconstitutional. Fast forward to this biennium, which started in July 1st, 2021, we have the Fair School Funding Plan. What is the Fair School Funding Plan? It's supposed to accurately fund the cost to educate a student in the state of Ohio. Some of the problems with the Fair School Funding Plan are, it will not be fully funded until six years. Madison is kind of caught up in a perfect storm for the fair school funding plan. Over 100 school districts will not see many or any increases during this biennial or throughout the six years. Why will Madison not see increased funding to the extent that other schools around us do? One, Madison is at the guarantee. Every school in the state of Ohio is guaranteed 20 mils. Madison is at the guarantee. We have low poverty in Madison local schools and low industry. We are projected to see a $70,000 increase this biennium. So this year and next, we're supposed to see a $70,000 increase through the fair school funding plan. Here is a map showing the county in the top right corner is Madison Township. You can see the red is where the industry. So we have very little industry. Again, that's one of the factors why Madison local schools will not see large increases with the fair school funding plan. The last new levy passed in Madison local schools was 2000 and it was an emergency levy for $1.1 million. So the last new levy passed was 2000. That is 21 years that the district has operated without asking new money. So what has changed between 2000 and 2021? Obviously the cost of supplies keep increasing. Cost of salary and benefits have gone up since 2000. And the upkeep of our building or property, those items keep increasing every year. Since 2000, revenue coming in from local, state, and federal cannot keep up with the ongoing expenditures after 21 years. We've experienced four years of flat funding from the state. We had in the previous biennium budget student wellness money that has now been supplanted into the formula that is now being funded to us this biennium and next. Levies passed in similar districts close to Madison since 2000. Again, Madison has not passed a new levy or asked new money since 2000. These districts have passed these since the year 2000. You can see Valley View, Preble Shawnee, and Carlisle. If you have any further questions, please contact me. My email is jeff.staggs at madisonmohawks.org.